TMC Natural Beauty, aka the Mind Catchers channel, and my name is Valerie. And today we're going to be doing this beautiful look right here. And I'm going to be using a palette that I think a lot of people did purchase. This is the ABH, oh excuse me, the ABH Norvina or Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Collection Palette Volume 1. And this one was filled with purples. So I'm quite sure there are a lot of purple lovers out there and they will enjoy this palette. I don't want to blind you guys. And of course I'm going to get up nice and close. But this is a very pretty palette. This is the one that I really had my eyes on when she was doing all those palettes back to back. I was like, oh, I got to get the purple one. Um, so we're going to do this look, a nice little lavender halo eye to match my lavender outfit. And we're going to bring you in close so you can see. So if you're a purple lover, you would love this one. And it has that black. Love a good dark, rich black in a palette. So you will love it. All right. So because I have on my lavender today, I even did my nails lavender. We're going to fool around with some of those deeper purples and that nice, sparkly, pretty lavender. And um, let's just go for it. We're going to start off with our Urban Decay Primer Potion or any primer you have for the eyes. I've even been known to use face primer on my eyes before. Got to do what you got to do. And I'm going to go into a concealer. This is from NYX. Uh, it's in the shade Tan. Uh, let me see if I can find a brush to kind of scoop it out. I don't want to dirty up my fingers too quickly. And um, it's a lot lighter than my own skin tone, but I know I'm going to be using those purple shades and that lavender. So I really want it to bounce against my skin. And I'm just going to use my finger to pat that on. The next thing I'm going to do is go into one of these deep, rich purple shades here. Um, I think I'm going to use A3. It looks reddish, purpley. A3. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to put it in the outer and inner corners of the eye. So how is everybody doing out there? I want to thank you guys for watching my last tutorial. Uh, the I didn't know how it was going to turn out. Ugly, pretty look. Excuse my phone. All right, so still with A3. Look how rich and nice the shades are. So we're packing that on the inner and outer corner. Pack it on, pack it on, pack it on. So I'm not going to add any more on this brush right now. I'm just um, getting rid of some of the excess purple. And we're just going to kind of connect lightly at the top. Now to kind of blend the top of that out into the brow bone area, I'm going to use a little bit of my natural. Well, it's not really my natural color. It's a little lighter than me, but this is a face powder from ColourPop. So I'm just going a little bit lighter than me into my brow bone area and right at the top of that purple. And you, of course, could have started with this um, doing the brow bone first, but I'm backwards sometimes. It would have made more sense, Val, to start with the brow bone and then work your way down sometimes, but, you know, okay. So we get rid of that cast that was around the eyes. And then we could go back into our purple again. You're going to be adding purple throughout because sometimes you put shades on, you add other shades, you see where one gets wiped away, you go back, you kind of touch it up. So until you're happy with what it looks like, you keep adding and doing what you do. It is a pretty purple. It is very pretty. Now you're really concentrating the color in the corners 
but then when you get to the outer rim you're just using the residue to circular motion and blend out I'm going to use some sticky primer here this is from crayon case I used this I think in the last video as well um, it's very very sticky any glitter shades or shades with shimmer are really going to pop on your eyes when you use this so I really like it for that reason and I'm just going to apply it right here in the center we're going into shade C4 which is right no ooh, right there c4 just lightly right on the edges of that right on the edges don't take it all the way in right on the edges just trying to blend our way into the lightest shade the lightest shade is going to go dead smack in the center and then we're going to go into the shade A1. That's that light, sparkly, princess, lavender shade right there. So pretty. We're going to put that right on the center. Pack it on. Pack it on. Now, you know, after packing this on, you're not done because you're going to blend around it. You're going to make it nice and smoky. Now we're going to go around that lavender with the same shades again and you're blending right where those two shades connect you're blending connect very lightly across the top and then on that outside portion for A3, the deepest purple, I could use a fluffier brush because it doesn't matter out there. But when you get closer to the center of your eye, a flatter brush or a smaller brush, even a pencil brush might work so you can really blend the shades together. All right, we're going to do the same thing to the other eye. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do, because I know I'm going to be putting makeup on, concealer, all that stuff, and since my eye is already like a mess, I might as well put that purple down below so I'm going to put it in my lower lash line. That's the deepest purple, the A3. And we're going to really clean it up later with all of your face makeup. You're going to clean all of that up. All right guys, so look at our purpley eyes. We're going to go ahead and put uh, black in our waterline. And if you want to spend the money, Urban Decay has some awesome, awesome pencils. So this is their eye pencil in black. I'm barely touching my hand. And you see how dark and rich that is. I absolutely love them. Makeup Forever and Urban Decay, awesome black liners and eyeliners that show up on darker skin. I love it okay so i'm just smudging all over the lash line with it again that was the shade zero very nice and we're going to do mascara on the top lash line uh this one is from benefit cosmetics it's called big bang i don't really have a uh, thick long top lashes so I don't expect much. I do love uh, mascara wands that are tiny like this and really comb the hairs. I don't wear lashes daily, so any mascara that has a very thin brush like this and a decent formula, they really pull out the little lashes that I have, and I like that. And guys, you see that? It really does appear that my lashes went the extra mile today, right? So that's Big Bang, well, Bad Gal Bang. Oh, child, let me show y'all. Bad Gal Bang, that's what it says. All right, so that's a pretty good mascara. Pull those lashes out. 
All right, so let's apply some lashes. These are gonna be the same lashes that I applied in the last tutorial. I'm gonna link the last tutorial down below so you guys can see it. And then I'm gonna move on to my face. The face is gonna be sped up because um, I just basically do the same foundation routine until I find a new foundation and then I might switch things up. So today I'm using um, Elf Flawless Finish. Ooh, would help if I had it turned the right way, right? Elf Flawless Finish in Espresso. So we're gonna apply those lashes and then you're gonna see me come back with my face. So stay tuned. All right, guys, here we are nice and close again. You can see the eyes. Just cleaning off all the stuff around my lips here. But I wanted to kind of touch up that bottom lash line with the color A3, that purple again. Let's see if I could kind of touch it with a pencil brush and not mess up. Okay, so far so good. All right, so we're gonna do my bottom lash line. You guys know I love Hypnos Drama Mascara for my bottom lash line. That's the one I love the most for just the bottom lashes. Why? I don't know, but they really separate and define my bottom lashes to me better than any other mascara. Bottom lash line is popping. Okay, so. We're gonna go into our lips and I'm using a color by ColourPop called uh, Leather and it's a very deep purple. I 
know y'all peep my broken pencil. I gotta do like this to get it to come out. And when you sharpen, they start breaking. That's the only thing I don't like about the retractable. Well, these are not retractable, but I like retractable pencils better. Okay, so I'm trying to blend this with my finger. If you hear some talking, that's my husband. He's getting some cooking advice from his mother over the phone because I'm back here. And I told him today it's going to be filming day for me. All right, so this is another one of Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses. I love their glosses. This one is in vintage. Let me see what this looks like. Pretty, pretty. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is it too much purple? Would you have gone with a brown liner? Let me know down below. All right, so we're gonna do our hair. Not really nothing to do. My hair is already in crochets. I'm just gonna take it out of this um, satin cap and then we have our completed look, so stay tuned. All right guys, and this is the completed look and I am very, very pleased with this. Again, that's the ABH Norvina Volume 1 palette. She had lots of palettes, like I said, that came out. I really like this one. I mean, if you love purples, you're gonna love it. Has your like transition colors in there for darker skin tones. Have a nice, rich, dark black in there. So I'm really, like, let me help turn it over, huh? I really, really like this one. And for my nails, this is an Orly shade called Lilac You Mean It. That's very cute. Very, very pretty shade. Has a nice little shift to it. Little pink in there. Little glittery. Not real glitters, but like a shimmer to it. It's very, very pretty. Very dainty. I really like this one. And it matches my outfit very nicely. So I'm loving it. And I hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, information on my hair will be down in the description box. Uh, these are crochets. I did them myself. I wish I would have recorded it because now everybody's asking about it. Next time I definitely will, okay? I will talk to you guys in the next one. Cyber kisses. Bye.